Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly here, and today I am going to be showing you how to validate a mobile phone number using C Sharp. So let's get right into it. Firstly, we are going to be making a little function called public static bool is digit. So we're going to do public static bool is digit string input. And basically, we're going to be checking if so if a given string is numerical or not. Because obviously a phone number is a, is a numerical thing. You can't have letters in your phone number. So we're just going to do this to make sure that our phone number only contains digits. So inside we can do for each char c in input. And then we can do if c is less than zero character or c is greater than nine character, we return a false. If we can get through this entire for each loop without returning false, we then return a true. So basically, we're going to be checking every character in this string. We're going to be checking if our, the current character is not a digit, meaning it's not 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9. And we can do this by doing a little greater than or less than check on the character because we're going to be basically comparing ASCII values. So if the ASCII value of C is less than the ASCII value of zero, then it's not going to be a digit. Or if the ASCII character of C is greater than the ASCII value of nine, that means it also can't be a digit because zero to nine are stored next to each other in the ASCII table. And then we can return false if we find one that's out of that range because if at least one value in this string is a is not a digit, then it's not a valid phone number. Now we're going to actually have our validate phone number function. So we're going to do public static bool is phone number string number. Now you're going to need to customize this. I've done um, a UK mobile phone format. This isn't the international way of doing so. This is the local way of doing so where the first digit is zero, the second digit is seven, and we also need to make sure it's 11 characters long. Oh, and that um, it's a digit. So, how do we check the first element is a zero? Well, we do number zero equals zero. Because it's an array, because a string is basically a character array, we need to do zero, not one. How do we check if the second number is equal to seven? Well, we do number one, because it's an array here double equals seven. And make sure you do character, not integer values here. And then we can do number.length double equals 11 and is digit, which is going to be used in our function we made before. With all of that, let's go to our main method. We're going to do console.writeline is phone number. We're going to put in a test phone number here and then we're going to do console.readline. So let's save our work and hit play. And it's true, because it starts with an 07 and it's 11 digits long. Let's try, I don't know, let's put a 5, let's put a 2, let's put a 1 there, see what happens. And it's also true. Now let's replace the 7 with a 1. And now it's false. Let's replace the O with a 1 and then that other one with a 7. It's also false. Uh, let's quickly test by making this 10 digits while having 07 at the start. And it's also false. So, thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. And subscribe for more C-Sharp tutorials. Thanks for watching.